So ever since the announcement of Spider-Man Homecoming, fans have pretty much clamored for a brand new villain in the cinematic universe and specifically someone that we haven't seen before. Now we all know the story of how the Vulture was going to be in Spider-Man 4. They started shooting the movie and about a couple weeks into it, the movie was scrapped. Now Vulture being one villain that Kevin Feige wanted to put into the cinematic universe and Spider-Man when he was executive producer on the old Spider-Man Sam Raimi movies was something of a missed opportunity. So when it came to Spider-Man Homecoming we were all excited to see that Michael Keaton aka Batman himself was confirmed to play this villain. So now we actually get to learn some of the details on the Vulture. So instead of being this elderly businessman like he's been portrayed before, in the MCU version, the character is actually working at a New York City salvaging company that cleans up a bunch of property damage after incidents, uh, specifically ones involving superheroes, and more so, and more importantly, the one involving the Chitari invasion during the Avengers. So you're probably now wondering what exactly drives him towards becoming a villain. Well, Toombs isn't so thrilled when a government company that is being backed and owned by Tony Stark ends up taking over all of his contracts after an accident ends up happening. So he actually goes out there and he finds the, you know, shocker and everybody and the tinker. And he's like, listen, we got a job. We're going to stop these guys and we're going to do it because of all the stuff I salvaged. Because this is alien technology. If we reconfigure it, we can make it our own and stop these fools from taking over our jobs. And then Michael Keaton himself says this, Some people see themselves as victims. He sees himself a little bit like that. He probably would have a strong argument that he never got a fair shot. And then the director John Watts adds, It's a really great starting point for the villains to have the vulture pick over the stuff and finding the valuable exotic elements and having the tinker assemble them into something that could be used. So now the name actually makes sense in two different broad terms. One, he's the vulture because he's literally picking over the scraps and the leftovers because he's trying to put stuff together and the tinker is tinkering with it. So I really like that and honestly I like the way they're describing the vulture as a villain. So I honestly can't wait to see what they're going to do with this character because he is a very cool character. Specifically that you have Michael Keaton and that you do have a story that seems to be a lot more personal to him. And it's not just an outright, you know, oh I'm a villain because I'm a villain. So... Honestly, this sounds awesome and I can't wait to see it.